I'm about to explode Adding to the CSI caseload Drop the beat like you're spinning at a rap show Use a stone hoe so we can start the week grow Then cue the intro, let D and H flow Hello gamers, this is D and H And I am here on Agrarian Skies Except I am here with... Hello, this is Shy Guy Squid, otherwise formerly known as uh, the artist known as Prince. No, no, uh, <laughs> Dr. Manta. I always get those two confused. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know, they're very similar, very similar. So, um, so yeah, I had talked about doing this Agrarian Sky series and uh, Dr. Manta, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of Agrarian Skies. Dr. Manta suggested maybe uh, as a co-op, I thought it was a great idea. And he made this awesome uh, version of the, of the hardcore, well, the harder uh, Agrarian Skies map, I guess. Some of the Agrarian Skies maps have house on the thing, but this is like the second version. And then yeah. he made this this one with the two platforms out here. So yeah, excellent. this is a this is originally the multiplayer uh, map that you can download from the FDB launcher. But I decided to TNT all the eight islands and spawn, and then develop my own little spawn around this for us. And I think it's going to work out well for us in the end. Looks good. Perfect, ah. perfect. So you had talked about um, idea wise, like we each have our own little island and kind of build up, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, kind of friendly, uh, you know, competition. I mean, we're trying to advance through the quest book and the, and the normal, um, the normal agrarian skies uh, type thing, yeah. but uh, you know, see if we can, you know, do a, build some nice stuff and whatever and. I guess the best way to put it would be like two neighbors competing to have the best garden. <laughs> there you go. That's actually a, a great way to put it. Yes. So, uh, yeah, and here we have, uh, I guess, <laughs> th this is uh, <laughs> this is backup quest books and, uh, and some kind of flask. Yeah, they're fun flasks, I can tell you right now. It's uh, okay. some uh, crazy juice. <laughs> yeah, and I know nothing really about this mod, so, uh, you know, that's uh, it's going to be a learning experience for me, but that's all right. Yeah, why well, don't you take a drink? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and then we can fall. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, so basically, yeah, it's just a way to get to the island. Um, I figured that's going to be probably the easiest way. I could do awesome. something fancy, but I was just like, eh, we can do do that and then as you can see on your island a uh, typical setup for agrarian skies inside you have the chest full of everything that you would ever need uh to set up and start your little island in nice. the sky see and agrarian skies is already freaking me out i have not enough items over on the right which is good and then what's like a strong box only has uh two rows instead of six is there any other yes. advantage to a strong box is it like locked so, from you or is it with the strong box, I mean, it can be locked to you, but I mean, J uh, Jaded Cat is the owner of these ones, so they can't be locked to us. But the uh, advantage of it too is that they also store inventory through, I believe, a wrench or a crescent hammer. So if you like shift right click a strong box with a crescent hammer, then they can keep the inventory of what's there, all the contents. So it's an easy way to actually move items around. All right, fair enough. And I guess this is a uh, this is getting ice over here for me. So I'm in a uh, you said a, this is a taiga biome, I guess. Yes. Uh, so uh, a lot of your island is engulfed in taiga, but you should have uh, the other half that is should be I think on a river. So okay. you should be okay too. Well, mm -hmm. excellent. So I guess uh, I guess I just get started with these quests here. This is yeah. exciting. Oh my golly, this is going to be the start of something special, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> so, howdy, neighbor. Wave. Uh, uh, hi. Oh, mine's going to be... Oh, God. And make sure don't fall off, because uh, as you can see on the quest book, we only have uh, three lives currently to start with. But, of course, you do get uh, more lives as you complete quests. So, that's lucky. Yeah, that's that was freaking me out a little bit. Lives is a, is a big deal, so... All right, hmm. let's see. Too many books. <laughs> I, think, I think the first thing I'm going to do is make a bookcase. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, it's actually been a while since I played Aquarian Skies too. I've uh, 
I I played a lot of Magic Farm, which is also by Jaden Cat, which is going to be. Uh, I love I love Magic Farm too. Okay. It's, a, it's an amazing logic pack, and this was J- Jaden Cat then developed this on top of that to uh, go from there, just to make a bit of extra difficulty, uh, especially. And I guess uh, this is what's uh, this is the one mod pack that set everything up for the for the hardcore quest uh, uh, mode mod, and that's uh, what's brought everything else in, like Crash Landing now, and they had a whole mod jam that was completely centered around the whole quest book implementation. So it'll be interesting, definitely, to see what 1.8 brings to, and well, 1.7 mod packs actually, because we're on 1.6.4 right now. So, right. Yeah, uh, let's see. Need to remember what to do though. So you you have the quest book that that you can go through to kind of guide you on what you should be doing. Yeah, I just got my first quest. So how do you go back a page? And... So I think you uh, right click to go back. Oh, I... Yep, you're right. Okay. Yep. I should probably go have a look at the first quest too. Ooh. The pick of splintered dreams and an apple. Huzzah. Okay. It'll be interesting to see how each of our islands develop too, because we'll probably head in completely different directions of what I'm thinking. Anyway, so and the nice thing is that we can we can always just spy and look over to see what's going on. And that'll be always <laughs> uh, kind of interesting to see as the weeks progress and what exactly is going on. It's like, ooh. He's up to there, is he? I'm going to have to steal his idea. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah, I mean, boy. this is... Because there's a lot of different... Like, I'm looking at a couple, right? I can't do that one. So, mm. okay, I can do that one. Um, let's see. Okay, well... And I have... Um, like, I, like I said, I've never played on Feed the Beast or anything mm. like that. Now, I, I've seen, like, one or two... Um, people do this type of of thing for a brief little bit, like kind yeah. of in the background, because sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos while I'm um, playing Minecraft, and so it's fine for a normal video where people are talking and I know what's going on, but when I'm watching yeah. Feed the Beast, I don't really catch enough of it, so I mean, I've yeah. seen a few things, like I know you can make a crook and that gives you more chance of dropping saplings and stuff, mm-hmm. so I, I mean, those are a few things, but you know, mostly I don't know what the heck's going on so yeah um, but thankfully with this mod pack it's one of i'm probably one of the ones i would recommend for the people that do get into feed the beast the first time because that the quest book is just uh, great and giving you the rundown on where to go kind of takes it like uh step by step and i mean you don't from this you wouldn't even really need to watch videos to get an understanding of what's exactly happening yeah and that's the de- Okay, that did work. Okay, yeah, that's definitely true. I was just going through some of these quests, and I was just figuring out the God, you're ahead of me. one right oh, now. No. Oh, I know. It's I'm, I'm sure this is going to matter in the end, right? <laughs> I mean, the, the fact that I'm five seconds ahead of you right now is just going to... Well, it isn't a race, thankfully, so that's good. <laughs> yep. I, I don't know what the end is actually going to be. Maybe it's when we both complete all the quests in the book. That will probably be an end, and... Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> just keep going and there you we, go. Just keep going and going and going, as the Energizer Bunny says. Uh, oh, I need more crooks. There we go. But oh, it was interesting to to see uh, they haven't played a Feed the Beast either, especially with like I guess how much influence it's had on the community as of recent times. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's something that I'd wanted to do for a while, so... Yeah. Well, that's good. It's definitely good to get into. I need, I need binoculars. That's what I need. Hold on, let's... Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, binoculars. Uh-huh. By... No, nope. Tele... Oh, <gasps> Aha! Nothing here. Spy... Aha! Spyglass! Okay, how do I make it? Oh, God, I'm in... I didn't mean to do that. I had to throw that away. I'm in the wrong mode for too many items. Cool. Uh, let's see. 
So now I'm where I have to build all of these things. Okay, let's see. I turn this off. Uh, cheat mode. No, I want recipe mode. I'm actually uh, D op. So so I got I finally got to the full heart one. So um, there's no advantage to just saving these, right? I mean, you want to just give yourself another life. Yeah, I'd say to give yourself another life. I mean, yeah. that's probably the best way to do it. I mean, saving them. Yeah, I don't really. I don't know if there would be a point to saving them unless you want to give them to me. I mean, I'm, I'm for that. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. I'll I'll yeah. consider that next time. <laughs> Where I'm very in the middle island, I'm going to set up a shop and just uh, buy hearts. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. Oh God, hunger's already going down. I'm scared. <laughs> So, still no silkworms. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see what we even do as in uh, like creating like little stuff in the fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I'm uh, I'm into building, so hopefully uh, that'll be good. And I've seen that uh, you did a great job on the spawn tower and stuff. So yeah, so I think we'll, we'll, uh, I definitely got some good ideas for here. It's good. So I think we'll be making some interesting stuff. I don't need the spyglass. I need gold ingots, a glass, plastic sheets, a stick. And and, and mm. you're there already? Is that is that where we're at? I'm no. nowhere near. <laughs> okay. <that. laughs> Just check it. I wish. Because I it, all of those things sound pretty far off for me. I'm really <laughs> I'm really at the getting have, wood point. I have but. the stick. There okay, so I need to, now I need to feed this. Now I'm finally at the at the hopper. <laughs> okay, do so what I gotta feed you? I gotta feed you a a plank. Here you go. Eat the plank. Have it. Eat it all. <laughs> oh wait. So as you mentioned, you're, uh, you know, you uh, are kind of rebranding yourself from the Dr. Manta, Shy Guy Squid. Uh, you mm. have a new, uh, you have a new stream channel, right? Is it? Uh, yeah, I have a new stream channel that I rebranded now and uh, I've been slowly moving everything over to the new YouTube channel. I need to finalize a few more things before I put, start to post videos on it, which it's, uh, coincidentally is this video. Oh. There you go, <laughs> and I'll I'll put uh, links to both the, those in in my uh, description. But uh, yes. oh, wow. and uh, I guess I'll be linking to you to all the people that seem to be watching my area. Actually, who knows? Down the track, uh, people might stumble across this one, especially with it being the first in the series. And uh, who knows? Our YouTube is a weird and wonderful place. Absolutely. Uh, okay, um, what's it? How do I do this? I don't know what to do. And and what you've done a lot on your stream, I guess you were saying, is some uh, Nintendo stuff. Yes, uh, that's a lot of what um, I've actually done my rebranding for now is uh, to go through to more Nintendo-based stuff. I've uh, been doing a Kirby, Kirby Triple Deluxe. That's, the, that's through the 3DS. I've been doing that, and I think I'll be doing a lot more Mario Kart 8, uh, for the YouTube at least. Uh, Pokemon, Pokemon I've been doing over on the Twitch, especially when it comes to like Nuzlocks and Wonderlocks, and that's been something I've been wanting to do for a, a long time now. I keep, I keep on looking over to your island whenever I'm talking to you, it's like, <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. I, because it's like, I need to be, I need to be working, I need to get wood and food and, <laughs> my god. It's a, golly dang it, neighbor. No, I'm yeah, shaking you know. my crook at you. Yeah, you know what like, you're gonna do. I'm gonna be the old guy who just like lives next door. So, keep the noise down, you hoodlums. <laughs> That's good. At least it's not an apartment complex. That'll probably even be worse. Okay, there we go. Oh, these crooks. I'm mean, like a diamond crook. Oh, uh, that would be happy for me, please. Diamond crook. Get on it. Ah.
So yeah, I don't know that I ever told you about like uh, my, I guess, Nintendo experience. But I, I mean, I'm a gamer from I'm a little little older than you, so I'm a gamer from a little bit further back. But I, I, uh, I mean, I used to have an Atari Twenty Six Hundred yeah. uh, system and an Intellivision, and then I, um, I remember in uh, 1985. I it was either 85 or 86. My father thinks mm. it was 88 for some weird reason, but he's wrong, so that's fine. But um, uh, we were in uh, we were visiting a different city. Uh, yeah. which was, uh, I used to live at that point in New Mexico, um, in the United States and, uh, we were visiting, uh, Minneapolis and okay. we went into a, we went into a store that we had never heard of before, which was Target, which, and you're from Australia, so I don't know if you've heard of Target. We, we, we have Target, but oh, I don't okay. know if it's the same Target. It's like, we have also Woolworths, but over, over there, Woolworths is like a hardware store where it's right. like the biggest retail store that sells groceries, like no demand. It's like, wow. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, Target is definitely big in the United States now, whereas then they started in the Minnesota area and they were just kind of a small, I mean, they were growing, but whatever. So, and we saw this system called the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it was like Mm. the full-on first one, and it had Rob the Robot with it, which was looking (laughs) quirky, and it had the light gun, and the big thing was um, Super Mario Brothers, which at the time was in the arcades, and it was popular in the arcades. Like, I wanted to play it, but people were, like, lined up to play it. And yep. um, and stu- and and not only that, it was, like, the home console version was, like, a perfect recreation of the arcade version, which I was used to Pac-Man, where it was just, like, you know, a crappy Atari 2600 version of the arcade. So yep. um, it, like, blew my mind that you could have something like that on a home system. So, um, my dad happens to be into video games too. So we, um, decided to get the system, not knowing Mm -hmm. if it was going to take off or if we were going to get games. And I just, I always remember that first three months or so between that was in the summer and to right about Christmas time, calling all the local, you know, places that sold video games and asking for Nintendo and getting a lot of Nintendo, huh? Never heard of it. And it's just crazy to think about now how people selling video games had never heard of Nintendo, uh, yeah. how big they are right now. But that was for months for me until about Christmas time, and then it blew up, and everybody loved it, and so it was great. But yeah, wow, that's that would be quite the experience. I can't, I can't even imagine something like that happening today with such a big name brand. I yeah. mean, I guess thing, I guess those kind of little experiences still pop every once and now and then. But I mean. If you if you probably asked me like three years ago what Twitch was, uh, I wouldn't even know. But even then, I mean, you ask a, a regular Joe on the street uh, if they if they know about Twitch, they'll probably think you you'd need to see a doctor or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, I mean, I'm I'm quite I'm I'm much younger, so I mean, my my first like video gaming experience, even though. I guess my my first gaming experience was like with the Commodore sixty four, believe it or not, and the. Because uh, I, I I wasn't brought up into like a, a big family, we didn't have too much money and all that kind of jazz. And so I I had a Commodore sixty four going into like nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety six, while okay. a bit past it, past its time. Then. And so a lot of the time I'd spend games like I, I think I'd be doing like adventure games like Lord of the Rings and all that kind of jazz and just uh, kind of follow the story along to see where it goes. And I remember running from the horse and we get the ring out of there. Oh my god, those experiences! Oh. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I had a yeah. friend who had a Commodore 64. I actually liked the Commodore. I at one point had a PC compatible game and played PC compatible system and played a lot of uh, Sierra style games uh yeah. you know in the early 90s and that kind of thing, but Ooh, okay, chest, pot builder, tool station. It gives me 10 apples. Oh my god, I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I should uh, I should advance that. I looked at the one that had like ten things in the quest, and I was like, yeah, let me chop some wood for that. So I guess <laughs> I'm I'm about ready for that though. Okay, so let's see. We need to make a chest. Whoop, like so. Thank golly, uh, the chests are still makeable. And um, I was playing another uh, another mod pack recently called Blood and Bones, and I I can't play it. I just die. I just keep dying and dying and dying. It doesn't, it doesn't like me. And it gets worse every time you die. You just like once you die, you get like three hearts. It's all only three <laughs> hearts and like three haunches of health. I mean hunger. Oh my god, it's a scary experience. 
it's really weird to see like all these different kind of Oliver Halls for for Minecraft. I know there's another one called a uh, Terra Firma Craft, which is actually a really nice one that I enjoy. Um, ooh, how do I make a barrel? Okay, barrel. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. It's been okay, a while since I've played. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. So you don't ha so you have a bit more of an advantage at least. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't remember a lot of this stuff. So like, I, okay, and I don't I know it at all. Barrel. So you know. Uh, yeah. What? Well, the, least... How am I gonna? Oh, you can use that. Is those six? Okay. Okay. That one was freaking me out for a second there. Okay. You you look at these crafting recipes and all of a sudden it's like because I guess it goes through a bunch of iterations of what you can do and the first ones were showing like use a helmet to build this you know this blank pattern I'm like where <laughs> am I gonna get a helmet from? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a weird bug with sticks typically. I think it shows like a helmet or something in one of the sticks and I'm just like eh, that doesn't make any sense. So I think uh, whenever you see that, you just yeah, just double keep on letting it roll through and then you'll see the. Ooh, see achievement, stencil worker. Do you see that I get achievement? I don't. Oh, okay. Oh, let's, uh, I think if I click, go back in the book, but I click, I don't know. Oh, I just got some kind of book. Materials and you. I do have Ooh. a lot of books in my inventory. I haven't. You know, I I like opened each one of them, but I haven't really yeah. read anything yet. So Here that'll that'll be fun things to do, maybe off camera. So <laughs> who are all these people? Oh my golly! What? There's Grum. Look, I I can see Grum. This jaded cat. Overmind DL one. Oh my golly! I don't know. I I I was looking for the quest book, and I found the. I found a place where it like lists everyone deaths. Oh, <laughs> look! If I died once, but on my other account when I was testing things. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> really, dang it! Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to make a, a stencil table. I think it was. Okay, here we go. Stencil, a pot builder, a tool station, and a stencil table. That makes sense. Okay, so put that there. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for the book. Much appreciated. Put that there, and I'll put that there. I believe that's what you're making. Wonderful! Ma ha ha! Everything's going to plan. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Ma ha! Wait. So, and and again, from from kind of quasi catching stuff on YouTube, you're supposed to try to catch rain in these barrels for something or other at some point. Yes, rain become becomes essential for doing things in this. And once you once you get the buckets, then you can kind of go from there. But at this stage, we don't really have that. Oh, guess what I have? <laughs> What's that? Uh, very, very tasty stuff that I am in love with. Leather armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at me in my leather armor, yo. <laughs> Good. Oh, enchanted, no less. There you go. Yeah, yes. Nice. Uh, they have a uh, protection five on all of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, Greggy, Greg, please... Do you please kindly stuff a sock in it? What? <laughs> I know what that means. That's. Oh man, that's uh, that's hilarious. So this these leather boots uh, under the or dictionary name it has Greggy Greg. Please uh, do please kindly stuff a sock in it, which I'm guessing is referring to Greg Tech. And there you they're more packed together because uh, Greg Tech is uh, widely known as doing a lot of stuff his own way. And some people like it, some people don't, and sometimes there's controversy around that. I'm just going to dance around in my very spiffy leather armor. Wahaha. 
Well, there you go. <laughs> and I am slowly dying because I don't have any food. I haven't. I need a silkworm. Oh god. I got a couple apples before, but I haven't uh, haven't gotten a lot of food yet. So. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's a repeatable quest now. What? Oh wow. Okay, this is new. I've never seen this. Okay. Uh, wow, that's cool. Okay. So, kill a zombie. I could do that. I bet I could do that. How much food I got? Oh, I need food first. Okay, no, I've got food. These apples do not replenish much. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna start doing fancy stuff. Bear with me, we're doing fancy. <laughs> uh oh. This is gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Probably. Oh, God. Uh oh. I timed out. Oh no! You still in? I, I, I still am. I, let me, yep, you, you just left the game. Oh, no. It's... There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, this does mean uh, it whoa, is a whoa, multiplayer. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm falling. Don't fall. You're still on the platform on my screen. Oh, I am? Just okay. wait for it to load. Hopefully. Oh, no. Could this be the death of DNH? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> really? In the next episode, we shall find out. Ma ha ha. <laughs> Actually, it is a, it is around. The, oh, you left again. I'm just warping. Okay, I left again. Here we go. Yeah. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. It is actually around the marker for us probably to finish the episode. Ooh. Yeah, that might be that. true. So. Maybe it is in the next episode. Find <laughs> out what happens to the mysterious DNH. Will he survive the ultimate lag of death? Or will he perish at the peril of periapsis words? I can't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> find out next find out next time. Bye. Have, have a good evening, guys. day, night. See you guys. Adios.